All right, so we're back. Now we're gonna check out the pattern length function of Metron. So Metron has the capability of creating up to 256 step long sequences. So you can create 16 bar long sequences. Another thing you can do is change every track to be a different length, which is very powerful. And um, it's all really quick and easy to do. So I'm gonna bring up the sequence that we had from our last video. And real quick, we're just gonna make this pattern eight bars long and add a bunch of variety to the whole pattern. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go out to page four and we're gonna hold duplicate. Duplicate is our basically our copy function. A quick way to copy out a pattern to a certain length is to go to that page. So we'll go to page four, hit duplicate, and now hit pattern length. As you can see now, we're going out to third page, fourth page, so we're going out to four pages long. This is four bars. And we can go through and we can add some variety to our sequence here. So I'll change up the claps first. So you can see that it's a super fast way of just creating more variety to your sequence. Next thing we're gonna do, go out to eight, hit duplicate pattern length again. Now we've got an eight bar pattern. And this time, instead of our claps, I'm gonna go mess around with our melodic sequencing. I'll add another octave on the uh, Arpitech because that'll be kind of cool. We'll go through here and just change up the rhythms a little bit. So now we've got a bunch of variety in an eight bar pattern. So let's say we want to go back to just 16 steps. So our pattern length button is basically how we can change pattern length really quickly. So we'll go through, let's say we would just want to make this pattern 16 steps again. We'll hold pattern length and we can hit page. Let's just say one page. Now we're back to 16 steps. If you ever want to see how long a pattern is, just hold pattern length and then this current step window will tell you. So again, if we make it four bars, it says 64 for 64 steps. If we go back to one bar, now it says 16. So this window is showing you the longest track in your sequence. So let's say we just want to loop all these and we want our, uh, we're gonna keep all of our drums at 16 steps. And now we're going to make, we're gonna extend the pattern length for our melodic sequence all the way out to eight bars. So we'll hit pattern length, and now we'll just hit the last step of the sequencer, or of the sequence that we're trying to extend here. So now our melodic sequence is all the way out to eight pages, but the rest of our sequence, you can see it's dim because it's only 16 bars long, or 16 steps long. Now if we hold pattern length, it says 128 because that's our longest track. So another thing we can do is create a little bit more variety by taking our, let's just take our hi-hats and I'm gonna clear out the uh, open hi-hats here and I'm just gonna make a cool little pattern. And then we'll make our pattern length for our hi-hat just five steps long. Now you can see that this hi-hat pattern is resetting on the fifth step here. So I can go back out, I can say I want this one to be, let's say 12 steps long now. Now you can see this cursor is different than the rest of them. So we can do that, let's say we'll do it with our kick drum. Let's say make the kick drum just four, three steps. So the kick drum's super weird now. And then we'll do the same thing with our claps. Let's say that one we want to be six steps long. And then with our Camara reset pattern, we'll make that six steps long. So now we've got this real weird kind of polyrhythmic thing going on. And we wanna just reset everything back to being 16 steps and all back on to the same playhead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit pattern length. We'll just say page one again. That means everything is 16 steps. And as you can see here, some of our playheads are completely off from each other because they, were at adding, they had different reset points. So now we'll just hit this reset button 
and all playheads are reset back. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to do a duplicate of a track. So basically what we had done earlier with the pattern length, with the pattern length duplicate combination, so you can duplicate out a pattern. We're going to do that with a single track. So we'll go through here, we'll find our hi-hats again, and we like this pattern. Actually, let's just clear our hi-hat track. So I'm going to hold clear and I pressed, um, press the track number, track number three, that clears our hi-hat. So I'm going to make a new hi-hat pattern. And just to really hear it, I'll take off the Camaro so you can just hear the hi-hats. So now what we'll do is we'll say, I want to make my hi-hat pattern just four pages long. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say duplicate. This is copy right here. So I'm going to copy channel three, track three. I'm going to move to page four. And now I'm just going to hit pattern length like I would do a duplicate pattern length. And now that duplicated out and change the pattern length of track four only. So now track four, I can add more variation to. So that's how you can create super long patterns really quick, change the pattern length of each track, get some crazy variation, and then reset it all back to just a default 16 step pattern. Um, it's all just real quick button combinations. This is another thing I just recommend practicing and checking out. And when you get the hang of this, move on to the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk soon.